All right, folks, welcome back to AWS Simplified, the place where I teach you everything there is to know about AWS. And today we're going to be talking about SNS filter policies, and this is going to be an overview video where I quickly talk about them. So let's get right into it. So let's assume that we have a vanilla SNS topic, and uh, for this case, I'm calling it the credit card transaction topic, and assume that we have three different types of subscribers. So we have a Lambda function that gets invoked every time someone pushes a message message to the SNS topic. Uh, we have an SQS queue here that um, receives messages when messages are sent to the topic. And we have some arbitrary HTTP endpoint, something, maybe a local machine that you have hosted on your site. So let's think about how the, how the normal SNS flow works. So say, for instance, we have two event types that are flowing into our SNS topic. We have a purchase and a refund event type, right? So for every purchase event, that event is going to be distributed to all three of your clients, the Lambda, the SQS, and the arbitrary endpoint. And similarly, the same applies for the refund type. So again, all three events for the refund, when a message comes in this direction, is going to be sent to the Lambda, the Q, and the endpoint. Now, this is all well and good, but let's consider the case where maybe this Lambda function only really cares about one type of event. Maybe it only cares about the purchase event, right? So let's do a quick thought exercise and think about how you can set this up so that the Lambda only receives or only handles purchase events. So you can do this in one of two ways, right? So you can either create a duplicate SNS topic and only publish purchase events to that SNS topic and subscribe the Lambda to it. And say this guy cares about both, so he would need to be subscribed to two different topics. And maybe this guy cares about only refunds, so he would need to be subscribed only to the refund topic. That's one way of doing this. And the other way is you still only have one topic and you add handlers. So in your Lambda function, you say if transaction type is purchase, then do something else, just return, right? And similarly down here, if this guy only cares about refunds, then you would do the same thing, right? So if transaction type equals refunds, then you do something else, you just return. And since this guy cares about both, then it doesn't really need this if logic, it's just gonna handle all message evenly. So what does this mean for you, right? So like, why is this a bad thing? Well, it's a bad thing because for every purchase and refund transaction, this guy is going to have to be doing this filtering logic. And remember, Lambda costs money. Every invocation costs money. The amount of memory you use per invocation costs money. So that's total waste, right? So that translates to dollar losses for you. Extra money spent where it doesn't need to be spent. So the question is, are there any better alternatives? And this is where SNS filter policy comes in. So what you can do with SNS filter policy is when you publish a message into the SNS topic, you can associate tags or attributes on the message type. So say for instance, if I'm a publisher I'm, and I'm publishing a purchase event, I'm gonna associate that event or tag that event with a purchase type. And what this allows you to do is create subscriptions on all your clients. So in the first case, if I only care about purchases here, if I set up this subscription such that I only care about purchase events, only purchase events are gonna be delivered to me. So whenever someone publishes a refund, that's not gonna come through this pipe, right? And for the middle case, if you care about both, then your subscription doesn't have any constraints on it. So you're not doing any tag filtering. So you're gonna be receiving all event types here. And finally, similar for the first one, um, if you set up the subscription such that you only care about refunds, then you're only going to get refund invocations refund event types that are being passed into this endpoint from the SNS topic. And what that eventually translates to is that you don't have to write this custom uh, if logic over here to figure out what type of event it is. You can just always assume that you're always receiving purchase events. So this goes away and that leads to you not wasting money on invocations that aren't actually going to be processed by the endpoint. So that's a little bit of an overview on SNS filter policies. In my next video, I'm gonna be walking you through the console to how to actually set this up from end to end. Uh, so that about wraps things up. Uh, thank you so much for watching and hopefully you found this helpful. If you're already using or considering using SNS filter policies, I'd love to hear about your use case in the comment section below. Thanks again and don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.